we like to develop uh, some of the things of our own. And uh, one of those, uh, a large midstream company here in Alberta came to us and said, you know, we're really interested in getting um, composite samplers for our C3 plus streams or C5 plus streams for our crude oils that meet a bunch of specific Canadian I don't know, requirements. I think we have to go. Yeah. I think we have to go. Okay. <laughs> um, we did. Uh, so they came to us and said, look, we're, we want these com composite samplers that meet a bunch of Canadian requirements like CRN and CSA but are completely customizable as well for different applications. And so um, we designed these liquid composite samplers. So when you look at one of these, you'll, you'll typically see a large accumulator vessel like the one that you see over there. That slowly gets filled over a period of time. It might be days, weeks, even a month in certain applications. And what it does is it provides a composite or an average sample of the fluid that's been flowing by. So what we do is we go on a pipeline, for example, and say, well, for every 50 barrels that goes by, let's put a milliliter into that accumulator vessel and fill it up over the space of a month. We have another client who loads propane onto ships to go to Japan and says, well, as I load my ship, it takes me about three and a half days to load my ship. I want to fill this vessel up over the three and a half days. And the average that is built up in that vessel represents the average of what got put onto that ship. And uh, we've done a fair number of unique things about there, especially we uh, were very cognizant of the American Petroleum Institute's API 8.2, which describes about a lot of things about just how to do this right. We basically made sure we wanted to do this right, make it really easy to operate as well. So one of the things we do with a lot of our sample systems is we'll try to do things like use color-coded valves like you see there, so that when we write an operational procedure of how to do a certain operation, it's easier for operators to just look and say, oh, I'm supposed to turn the round red valve. That makes life easy. And so we try to consider this from a field operator's perspective and how they would go about trying to use these devices. And we have a big project on the go right now, which you know we think is going to be about 20 of these. We've got a number of these installed out in the field with uh, a number of different companies. Again, these are liquids composites, so as compared to gas composites. So these are for propane, uh, C5 plus natural gas condensate with the US often, often calls natural gasoline and crude oil type applications. <laughs> 